All right, I just wanted to do a quick little update video and let you guys see how this thing turned out. If I can find my hand, there it is. If I can get it to focus. I would say this was a smashing success. I, um, so after I got done doing the steel one, I had it pretty much, pretty much symmetrical, but when I reconfigured it for this one, it was a little bit off on one side. It was making a deeper, deeper, wider cut on this side than it was on this side. So I had to go back after the fact with a little hand file and open this side up a little bit. But I think I've got it in pretty good shape now. So I can finally show you how this is supposed to operate, which I'm sure most of you have already figured it out. Juggle all this stuff. There we go. So this will be part of the movable jaw. There it comes. looks pretty decent it seems like it's gonna work pretty decent I'm really excited about that so anyways that's what I was shooting for for the operation on this thing so I've got a whole other project that I need to proceed on to that is in conjunction with this or a support project for this so what I need to do before the day is over, and hopefully I'll get a video of the next project, but I need to get the dividing head off of the rotary table and I need to get the mill, the head of the mill, swung back up to 90 degrees. The next thing is I need to try and produce a pair of, well, one at least, um, angle block so that I can have something to gauge in the vise when I get ready to make the uh, jaws for this thing. So I saw a video a few days ago about how somebody made a pair or was making um, angle blocks using a rotary table. So that will probably be this evening's or tonight's video I just figured I would bring you guys along real quick for a little update and hopefully I have a second video later this evening.